Ballooning of the aorta, also known as abdominal aortic aneurysm, can lead to life-threatening bleeding. Doctors may recommend surgery for people suffering from abdominal aortic aneurysm. If your doctor recommends surgery for you, the decision whether or not to have this surgery is also yours. This patient education program will help you understand better the benefits and risks of this surgery. Anatomy The heart pumps blood into a large artery known as the aorta. The aorta branches into two main arteries called common iliac arteries in the abdomen. Each common iliac artery then divides into a branch that goes into the pelvis and a branch that goes into the leg. In the abdomen, the aorta branches out into important arteries that supply blood to the liver, the spleen, the stomach, the intestines, the kidneys, and the spinal cord. Symptoms and their causes If the wall of an artery becomes weak, it can stretch and balloon out. This dangerous condition is known as an aneurysm. Since the aorta is an artery, if its walls become weak, the aorta dilates and an aneurysm begins to develop. Cholesterol deposits in the wall of the aorta are one of the main reasons the wall may become weak. This is how a normal aorta looks if you look at a cross-section view. Notice the smooth walls of the artery. Such arteries are common in children and young adults. However, in this diagram, you can see the ballooning of the aorta and the aneurysm formation. When the aneurysm involves the part of the aorta that extends into the abdomen, this is called an abdominal aortic aneurysm. Some people are more likely to develop aneurysms because of their genes. However, the exact cause of an abdominal aortic aneurysm is not known. An abdominal aortic aneurysm may only involve the aorta and no other branches. It may also involve the arteries that branch off and go to the kidneys, or the iliac arteries that go to the legs. Most abdominal aortic aneurysms start below the level of the kidneys. Some aneurysms may start above the kidneys and may extend into and beyond the iliac arteries. Most abdominal aortic aneurysms do not cause any symptoms. However, in some patients, small pieces of cholesterol debris from inside of the aneurysm may break loose and cause a blockage in the blood supply to the legs. This can cause gangrene of the legs. With time, an aneurysm may grow and could rupture, leading to serious bleeding. If left untreated, a ruptured aneurysm could be fatal. The success of patients treated before a rupture is much higher than from emergency treatment after a rupture. The larger the aneurysm, the higher the risk that it will rupture. Patients with lung disease, hypertension, and large aneurysms are also at a higher risk of rupture. If the aneurysm is small, surgical treatment may not be recommended. A follow-up exam in 6 to 12 months is necessary to see if the aneurysm is growing. When the risk of rupture exceeds the risk of surgical treatment, surgery may be recommended. Alternative Treatment Doctors can now place a graft inside the aneurysm without a big operation. The graft is made of a special synthetic material. It is placed through one of the arteries in the leg. After it is positioned in the abdominal aorta, the patient's blood flows through the stent graft. The chances that the aneurysm will rupture is eliminated after this procedure. Recent studies showed the stent graft procedure to be safe for some patients. Other patients, however, still need the surgery, especially if the aneurysm has bled. Preventative Measures a healthy, low-fat diet may reduce plaque buildup and possibly slow the aneurysm growth. Refraining from smoking is essential. Surgical Treatment This surgery includes grafting, or stitching, a synthetic tube into the aorta. 
to replace and strengthen the section of the artery that has been weakened by the aneurysm. First, an incision is made in the midline of the abdomen. The aorta is clamped above and below the aneurysm to keep it from bleeding. The aneurysm is opened and its contents removed. A graft is sutured to the aorta above and below the aneurysm. If the aneurysm is restricted to the aorta, a tube graft will be used. If the aneurysm extends into the iliac arteries, a Y graft will be used. The aneurysm wall is then sutured, covering the graft. The graft is made of synthetic material that has been shown to be very safe. Your doctor will tell you how long you are likely to stay in the hospital. This depends on several factors, such as your age, medical condition, and whether the aneurysm has ruptured. Depending on how quickly you recover, you may go home within a week or so.